Through this inland sea of 16,000 square miles runs Peru's border with Bolivia, the next country on the royal schedule. The ship's destination was Guaki, on the southern tip of the lake. Parading in the Duke's honor was a military guard. Guaki was the place of arrival and almost immediate departure, this time to the nearby seat of the Bolivian government, La Paz, the city of 350,000 people. They and most Bolivians, except those of Spanish descent, are of Inca origin. The name Bolivia derives from the man who liberated the country from its Spanish conquerors, Simon Bolivar. In La Paz, Prince Philip was escorted by the head of the government, President Estensoro. The Duke had the sort of welcome usually reserved nowadays for astronauts. At the presidential palace, the Duke conferred upon Dr. Estensoro the GCMT. The industrial school Pedro Domingo Murillo trains students to be engineers or technicians to fit the country's industrial development program. The Duke was in his element here as a technically minded man in touch with youngsters with their foot on the ladder. Here, the new rubs shoulders with the old. When the Duke's car couldn't grip the muddy slope, there were willing hands in plenty. Back in the city, it was clear that La Paz couldn't have too much of Prince Philip. At the stadium, the Duke saw a performance of the Devil Dance, believed to have originated in Spain at least 600 years ago. <laughs> 17,000 feet above sea level stands the world's highest inhabited laboratory, the Cosmic Physics Lab at Chacotaya. Another place certain to capture the interest of the man who once lectured on TV about the geophysical year. Science being international, it's fitting that Chakotaya should be largely a multi-nation project. Descending from the snowy heights, the Duke was driven to the Fabulosa Mine, which is not far from La Paz. It employs about 500 men and women. They march past in military style. Fabulosa produces tin to the annual value of 600,000 pounds. The metal is Bolivia's biggest export. British investors provided 98% of the mine's capital. Farewell to Bolivia and west over the Andes to Chile, that long country stretching 2,800...